back on the campaign trail, the former president previewed his legal strategy, deflect and deny. We have prosecutors that are evil people. These are evil people, deranged. Though Donald Trump claims his looming prosecution is politically motivated, his attempts to overturn the 2020 election are no secret. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. From his words on January 6, 2021, to behind-the-scenes efforts to sway state election officials, many of whom have already given evidence to a grand jury convened by special counsel Jack Smith. They have to show that he actually knew that he lost the election. It has to be shown that he had the requisite intent to, to try to impede the transfer of power when he knew, in fact, that the election had been lost. How do you feel? Reports suggest Trump is likely to be charged with deprivation of rights, conspiracy, and witness tampering, just as other election-related prosecutions are gaining steam. In Michigan, officials have charged 16 Republicans who falsely signed paperwork claiming Trump won the state in 2020 when he in fact lost. This plan to reject the will of the voters and undermine democracy was fraudulent and legally baseless. Trump is the most important target for prosecutors, making him a martyr for Republicans. He's still far and away the front runner for the party's presidential nomination, but in the eyes of the general public, his legal woes may leave him a damaged candidate. Many Americans think that these indictments disqualify Trump for the presidency. As we see the accumulation of bad news, we're likely to see um, his, his popular support continue to erode. All of it offers a window into another part of Trump's legal strategy, delay. In the Florida documents case, Trump's lawyers have asked for the trial to be postponed until after the November 2024 election. If Trump is indicted again, expect more of the same. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.